and welcome to the fifth Dreamweaver video. In this video I'm going to show you how to link up your pages. As you can see over on this side I've got my four pages in my website. I've got an index page, which just says index, um, about us, contacts and gallery. Of course on your website it's going to be anything isn't it anything you like but I've got four pages here and they need linking up um, if I go to my index page which is like the home page uh, I can just do a preview and here it comes just make sure you can see it okay so there's my index page and of course I can't get to the other pages so what I've got to do is create hyperlinks that go to these other pages and this is the easiest way to do it. If I want a hyperlink that goes to the contacts page I could just type the word contacts, highlight that word, go down to where it says link and use this targeting device to link my contacts page. And what you find is that the contacts page goes blue, sometimes as an underline as well and if I now do a preview, save changes, yes, you can see I now have a hyperlink. So if I click, it goes to the contacts page. Okay, and I can get back by pressing back. So I could do lots of little uh, words here. I could do one for about us, and I could do one for gallery, and then I can, you know, jump around my website that way. But that's not the nicest way to do it. The nicest way to do it is to use something called a navigation bar. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. We do it using a table. And I'm going to say I want one row and four columns because I've got one, two, three, four pages. The table width is 100% of my available screen, so it's nice and big. Border thickness 1, cell padding, cell spacing of 10. I'm going to leave those and I'm going to say OK. Straight away you can see there is my table. One row, four columns, big thick spacing here. And in here I'm going to write home, which is the index page, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to write about us, contacts, gallery. There we are, that looks okay. Um, I'm going to highlight these cells and center the text. I'm going to choose my font to be Arial because that's a bit nicer. Bold it. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, what else could I do? Uh, I could change the background color to something quite pastel -y, is often quite nice. There we go. And then if I select the actual table, I can change the background color of that as well. There we are, that's quite good. Okay, so that's uh, my navigation bar. I need to make the links, which we do in the same way as before. So highlight the word, go down to link, and the home is the index page. I'm going to link that there. About us, goes to about us. Contacts, goes to contacts. Gallery, goes to gallery. Okay. Now that I've made my navigation bar, all I need to do is paste it into my other pages. So if I select my whole table and edit copy, I can go to About Us and paste, Contacts and paste, Gallery and paste. And that's it. Now, on the index page, you notice there's no underlining. Okay, That's because I've changed a property, which I'm now going to do for my other pages. I'm going to say that my links are show underline only on rollover. So I've done that to gallery. Contacts. And about us. File, save all, index, preview. Hopefully this is going to work. 
Okay, so I'm on my home page or index. If I click about us, I go to about us. See, there it is. Contacts, gallery, home. Okay, there we are. Done. It's that easy. Once you make one navigation bar, you just paste it into all the other pages and it's done. This is why it's important to plan your website at the beginning so you know how many pages you're going to have. If you start adding pages later on, it messes up your navigation bar. You've got to do it all over again. So, make sure you know what you're going to do with your website first. Set up your pages, do your navigation bar, and then it's really easy. Okay, you should now know everything you need to know in order to create your own websites. Have fun. Thanks for listening.